Hello YouTube, this is Lower Case I and I um, posted up a couple videos and thought I'd go ahead and do one of my Rubik's Cube collection. Uh, not just Rubik's Cube, but miscellaneous puzzles like that. Uh, so here's pretty much what I have, uh, minus a couple of my cubes, but go ahead and start over here on the left. Um, this is my Rubik's Revolution. Uh, it's not that much, um, or not that great of a puzzle really, I don't really enjoy it an electronic game. Um, kind of fun if you get one for free, but I wouldn't recommend going out and buying one myself. Uh, so that's that. I have my Homer Simpson Rubik's Cube that I bought on eBay. Uh, really cool, kind of fun. Just like the 2x2, two two, just kind of awkward because instead of having a like a red-blue corner, you have a, a eye and nose corner. Um, good fun puzzle to have, uh, but again, not something that I would necessarily buy unless you just wanted to have it. Um, this is my Mega Minx that I got off eBay as well. Um, it's a tiled version. Uh, really cheap to buy, actually. It wasn't too expensive, which is why I purchased it. Um, kind of fun. A little difficult to solve. Uh, but I enjoy it. Good puzzle to have. Um, this is a regular, it's probably my first, I think, Rubik's Cube that I got. Um, it's got a new set of stickers on it, but, which are already peeling, but not the original stickers. Um, nice lubed up cube. Nothing special though, it's fun to have. And then, this is my Rubik's Junior cube that I took off the, it had the pink and green stickers with like the monkey face on it or whatever, but I took those off because those were kind of lame. I had some spare stickers lying around for my 3x3 three three that I put on here. Um, this one's really lubed up, but it's also broken. Um, it actually came apart today when I was playing with it, um, so I'm not going to try and mess with it. Um, this is my Rubik's Twist. Uh, I got this in Las Vegas at the FAO Schwartz there. Um, hadn't seen it anywhere else, so I thought I'd go ahead and buy it there. It's kind of fun. Uh, you can get creative with this and do all sorts of things. Uh, I kind of leave it in this ball shape because it's kind of cool. Um, really symmetrical looking, so. It's also a fun puzzle to have. Uh, this is another 3x3 three three of mine. It's got some Cubesmith stickers on it. Um, really cool, good place to get stickers if you want. Um, this one's not too lubed up. Uh, after I put these stickers on, I need to lube it again. Um, got the neon green and yellow. Uh, so, that. Uh, this is my Target Rubik's Cube. Uh, I work at Target, and they give away all sorts of cool prizes, I guess, to the employees there. Uh, this is one of their cubes that they are, the cube that they have. Um, it's pretty cool. I got to show off to my boss and everyone that works there that I can solve a Rubik's Cube and <laughs> they were all pretty impressed. Uh, so, it's cool. Uh, got the Rubik's Ice Cube, another 2x2 two two puzzle. Uh, nothing special, just clear. Uh, cost too much. Um, this is my Siamese Cube that I made. Uh, I had a couple of cubes. Um, I have several 3x3s three three and so I decided to try and make one of these and play with it. I was actually surprised to find that it's a little harder to solve than just a regular 3x3. Three three. Uh, I never knew that it would be different, but it is because you can't move every face. And you can't do the F or the back or the down. So It's a fun puzzle though if you ever make one. They're really simple to make and uh, a good challenge to have. So Try making one of those. Uh, back here I also have my M&M Rubik's Cube that my aunt got for me in Las Vegas. Um, this is a really cheap cube with nothing special. It's really, really hard to move and not really worth uh, moving up. So, just a cool one to have and collect and show. So, that's that. Uh, and this is my uh, green DIY that I got off eBay as well. It's probably my best cube. It's really loose, really well lubricated. Uh, and it's really cool looking too because it's green. Uh, instead of the traditional black. Uh, I think I got it from Puzzle Pros on eBay. Uh, they sell DIYs like this. They had pink and orange and blue and yellow and all different colors. Uh, so check them out if you want one. They're really good quality cubes. And this one is really loose, so I enjoy it. Stickers are peeling. I'm going to get some new stickers for it. Uh, another 3x3 three three I have just to practice with. Um, I didn't leave this one up just to give me that kind of like difficulty I guess and, and trying to speed things up by having a stiffer cube like this. 
I also have another 3x3, this one was one of my first ones as well, I got a big gift, it's pretty lubed up, um, nothing special though, just regular 3x3. Three three. Uh, this is my Rubik's Icon, uh, a friend gave this to me as a gift, um, it used to be just Barnes & Noble had them, but now I think you can get them from Toys R Us too, and they have white, and black, and then silver, and three different shades of grey, uh, really cool from a distance they all look the same color. Um, it's a little bit hard to solve, but it's definitely a cool one to have. Uh, so, you can check it out and get one if you can. They're fun, cool to have on the shelf as well. Uh, and then, I have the Keychain Rubik's Cube. Um, this one's not so much fun. I also collect keychains, so I have this to add to my collection. But, that. And then lastly, I have the Rubik's World. Uh, another 2x2 version, or 2x2 puzzle, simple to solve, uh, it's cool to have the like, little stand it has. I also have a 4x4 and a 5x5 cube, um, my 4x4 is up there on my desk, it's, I'm missing a piece, it came apart when I was solving it and I can't find the other piece. Then my 5x5, one of the corners broke, uh, and I just can't find anywhere to buy it, I've gone to cubesmith.com, and they sell the old style 5x5, I have the new one. So I can't exactly find that. Um, but I just bought an Ishin 4x4 off of eBay as well, and it should be here soon. Um, and if it's decent, which I've heard it should be, then I might also get the 5x5 um, a little bit. So this is my puzzle collection. Uh, the Siamese, Mega Minx, and all the other ones. Uh, so thanks for watching, and uh, check out my other videos, okay?